Okay, gonna try a tour of the White House. It's called the People's House. It's a tour with Michelle and Barack Obama. This house belongs to you and to every American. For eight years, just a short chapter in the long story of our democracy, my family also had the privilege of calling the White House home. Let's go inside and have a look around. The White House is the people's house. Next door to the Oval Office is the cabinet room. Downstairs, in the basement of the West Wing, is the Situation Room. Back upstairs, the Roosevelt Room is the original location of the President's office in the West Wing. The first day coming into this house was a whirlwind because it's inauguration day. You don't get access to this house until the day that the president-elect takes the oath of office and actually becomes the president of the United States. And you feel that way for several months. Um, it takes some time to really settle in and feel like this place is your home. So it was probably around March that I started to be able to take a deep breath and feel this place as not a museum, but as my home. We'll continue our visit on the state floor, the first level of the White House residence and the traditional space for hosting public events. This is the Red Room, an elegant parlor and sitting room that has been used for small dinners, social gatherings, and even family musical recitals during the Lincoln administration. Early on, the green room served as Thomas Jefferson's dining room. Over the years, the East Room has hosted countless state dinners, concerts, and other important moments in American history. Team. On the ground floor, the Vermeer Room honors previous first ladies who have lived in this home and blazed a trail for the rest of us. The state dining room might look spacious now, but try to picture it with over 200 guests and performers during an official state visit. in what is known as the Old Family Dining Room. We conclude our visit on the state floor with a room at its very center, the Blue Room. Like the Blue Room directly above it, you'll notice the diplomatic reception room is a big oval. This design dates back to George Washington's time, who saw oval rooms as a symbol of democracy. The president could stand in the center to greet everyone at a similar distance, and nobody gets stuck in a corner. I took you to the Oval Office. Now let me take you to my private office, up on the second floor of the residence. residence. The place that always inspires me is the Lincoln bedroom.
Hey there.